Sprockets. Sprockets. Frankie Cheese Vintage Product Reviews. Welcome to another episode of Frankie Cheese Product Reviews. Now, this one's a little different. Um, it technically is vintage product reviews, maybe? <laughs> but we're turning the clock back to the 2000s. Uh, maybe 2005-ish, 2007-ish, maybe a little earlier, but at least in the 2000s, back when we had iPods. Do you remember what iPods are, kids? What's that? Exactly. So I was getting frustrated listening to the streaming audio, because you got to deal with commercials unless you pay for it, and then you only hear like one song off of an album, and then to the next song, to the next song, whatever happened, listen to a full album. So, for a little while, I went back to CDs, got my trusty Radio Shack. Uh, what is this? The 3350. Be sure to check out the video on this. It's pretty flippin' awesome. But, you know, you get to lug around all those CDs. But you do get to listen to the full album. There's something to listening to the full album rather than a single here, a single there, a single there. So, I was going to go back to the iPod. I was getting sick of always being on this god dang thing and social media which is probably destroying society as we know it so i will put the cell phone aside because i hate listening to music on my phone i don't know what it is it's annoying because you're listening to music you get a text message and you're like oh god dang it you got to answer the text message and then the next thing you know you're looking at this four hours later uh, it's midnight and you forgot where your family is you forgot to pick up your kids from daycare and your life is ruined so yeah, you know, it's just too many interruptions and, you know, social media and all that crazy stuff. So I'm going to put this aside. <laughs> and this is kind of what I run into. So I pulled up my old iPod, the old 80 gig iPod, and I hadn't run it for a couple years. And the battery had gone dead and uh, the hard drive decided to go. <laughs> but what I did do is I upgraded it. It cost 75 bucks. Look at that. Oh, the Beatles. Now I got all the Beatles albums on here. I have a whole freaking collection. I did Napster like crazy back in the 2000s. I was hanging out with my buddies and we were just on Napster. If you, you know, anybody old enough remembers that. In my day, we had Napster. We didn't have this online music stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start talking about records in a minute and tape cassettes. Um, but, you know, I went back to DVDs. But I'm going to go a little forward because I like the old iPod and the old interface. Uh, I spent about $75 to get a solid state drive for this. You could, and I brought it up to 128 gigabytes. And you can go to 256 if you want. But they sell the solid state drives for these. Or it's like a flash card and replacement batteries. It was a kit. Everything all told, $75. Bucks. The battery life in here, it'll go the entire week without a charge because you're not no longer have a hard drive that spins in here. I was going to do a video on it, but there's a plenty of videos on how to do it. I recommend it and it's super light now. <laughs> it's no longer heavy. So I got the iPod. I went back to it and it's nice because I had a lot of music, uh, a lot of albums and stuff I had in my iTunes, which is still in my iTunes. So, you know, it's all good. And I really like using these iPod again because it's just freaking music, just music. No texting, no social media, no interruptions. When I'm listening to an album, there's no interruptions. You know what I'm saying? You go for a walk, there's no interruptions. No commercials. You know, your album is your album. You don't have to pay for streaming or anything. You own it. That's probably why, you know, Apple and all that, I'm getting away from it. Because they can't charge you for what you own, right? Uh, still works. This is 2007, I, I don't know, 5th gen maybe? 6th gen? I, I don't remember what it is, but um, it's a 2007 80 gigabyte. Uh, so I went to the thrift store. <laughs> you know, I'm always thrifting, right? And I said, what can you buy for your iPod that's old? You don't have to spend a lot of money. That's the key. You got all these Bluetooth speakers and crap like that. That's another thing, Bluetooth. Oh, for God's sakes. Pair, pair. Siri, won't you pair my device? Hey, Siri, Siri. And then look, for some reason, my Apple Pay came up. You know, it, it, I hate this freaking phone. Siri, connect my Bluetooth. See what I mean? See what I mean? Whatever happened to just plugging it in and going, you know? I fight with this gosh darn thing every 
freaking morning when I get into my truck. Connect Bluetooth, connect Bluetooth. It never freaking connects. I always have to hit connect, 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 connect. And then, you know, and then I'm doing this all day. And then I'm, then I'm freaking running over people because I'm so angry because I can't connect by Bluetooth. I said, oh, and look what they did. There's nowhere to plug a freaking auxiliary jack. You need to buy 50 adapters. You know what? Beep that. Put my iPod. It's got an auxiliary jack. And so when I get to my car, I just plug it in my dent, then plug it in my dent to my stereo, and we're all good to go. Now I can't go, hey Siri, can you play this song? It doesn't happen. I gotta go click, click, click. But I made a bunch of playlists. I made an angry playlist. I made a happy playlist. I made a love playlist. <laughs> love. And I also made a party mix. I made all kinds of playlists. Didn't take that long. Once it's done, it's done, it's saved. Bada bing, bada bang. You know? You know? Yeah. Get in the car, plug it in, go. That's it. Don't have to think about it. Start sounding like an old guy talking about records. <laughs> All right, so let's get down to it so you don't get bored and shut off the video. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, please, please, please subscribe. So I went to the first store and this is what I found. Uh, for the cheap. I do everything cheap, by the way. Uh, what we have here is I found this and I paid a dollar. <laughs> It's a dollar ninety-five. A dollar ninety-five. So two dollars, and I got a silicone case. Uh, I actually haven't even opened this up yet, to be honest with you, because um, I figured I'd do a video on the unboxing of a silicone case, but it just seemed ridiculous, so it sat on my shelf. Uh, so, uh, you know, dollar ninety-five. I found this. So you can get stuff pretty cheap for your iPad. Man, this was probably like nineteen ninety-five back in the day. Is this an official Apple product? Hmm, maybe. Mm, there's a really cool guy on here carrying an iPod. Remember the videos and they were like dancing? Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> uh, this doesn't look like it was made by Apple, but it includes black and clear case for iPod Classic. So it even has a little representation of the cardboard here. So you can like give this to somebody who goes, here, I have an iPod. And they go, it's cardboard. Uh, so, you know, let's put this uh, silicon, silicon case on here, right? Hey, $1.95. So this was a dollar a piece. So let's just slip it over on here like some dirty sailor putting on his protection we got. Uh, I don't exactly know how this goes in here, but I suppose it just slides it. I didn't read the instructions. So this is going to be a how-to guide how to put your dang iPod in a silicone case. And it's so old, it's probably like toxic silicone made out of pure lead. <laughs> I'm on, I'm on there. Does somebody have a cucumber that I can practice? In? <sighs> oh, look at that. It's flipping amazing. It looks like a classic iPod now. Oh, and it's got a little thing here you can put a strap in. Or you can put your fingers in it. Look at that. Or you can make an iWatch out of it. Put your watch band for Hey man, check out my new iWatch 4000. <laughs> and there's cardboard here to impress your friends. But that's really nice. I'm going to keep that on there because I like that. I've been wanting to put that on, but I also been wanting to do a video, you know. But I didn't have the time because who has the time to do a video, right? Right? Because, I, you know, where I work, I go into work. I don't stay at home and work. So therefore, I don't have any time because nobody's there working because I'm there working. And if nobody's there working because I have to work, then I gotta work double because nobody's there working double. <laughs> so, what are the other things we got here that I found at the thrift store for your iPod? So, at the thrift store we found for $1.95, we found protection for your iPod. I guess we should call this how to live in a modern world with old technology. Uh, got my aux jack for the car. Okay, so here's my other thrift store find. And you know what? They got a bunch of these there. I got, they had uh, probably about four of these sitting in a, you know, sitting on the shelf. Nobody was buying them. Nobody buys these, these things. This is a Bose, a Bose iPod dock. Uh, so it sounds flipping good. I'll tell you that right now. This is bassy. It sounds great. Um, you know, now that Bose makes the Bluetooth and, you know, 200 bucks Bluetooth and then you have to deal with this. Connect my crap i'm trying not to swear i'm really trying not to swear connect my stuff and it doesn't connect and then when it connects you get out of range come back in doesn't connect it is a pain in the deep uh okay thrift store how much do these go for they go anywhere from twenty dollars to thirty dollars 
not bad not bad I mean that's a little on the top end for what I'm willing to pay for something in the thrift store but you're getting an entire iPod dock that cost two hundred dollars or three hundred dollars back in the day and you get an iPod dock just make sure when you buy them at the thrift store it has the power supply with it don't just buy the speaker this freaking power supply is averages around twenty five to thirty dollars all by itself on eBay and stuff so hey, hey, hey buy this for 30 sell them for 30 a piece you know what I'm saying these sell for around fifty dollars on eBay with the um, adapter you know forty to fifty dollars and if it's really new and it has a remote this doesn't have a remote then you know it goes up from there fifty sixty dollars but anyways go to the thrift store get yourself one of these because it sounds freaking nice and it works really nice with your iPod dock let me plug this bad boy in I know it works because I've been using it it's freaking epic you know what I mean it sounds better than my the Bluetooth speaker I have and I got a really nice Bluetooth speaker uh, so what this does is um, you, you know you just plug your <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Don't plug in if you put this. <laughs> you know what? This looks like an insert that pops out. It does. Oh, it pops out. I was about ready to have like a blooper reel. This comes out. So you can now put this in there without your key. It didn't fit. It didn't fit on here with the case. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> Anyways, uh, so you plug your iPod in there like that. If you got the case on there, I guess you're not going to use that. Uh, and you have your volume control, and it charges it. So you don't know. You don't even need your charger. You just plug it in. It charges it up. But a bing, but a bang. And you know, you search for your song. I'm not going to play songs because. You know, um, monetization. You know what I mean? I hate that. But it does work. See? Go. Oh, I hit the wrong button. It's because I'm. That's not the Beatles. <laughs> the heck is that? Oh, here we go. Here's Hard Day's Night, right? Put that in there. Hit play. It's been a hard day's night. Okay, shut that off. Whew, monetization. Monetization. <laughs> uh, so I got my iPod. I can play some music uh, here in, in the Frankie Cheese Cheeky Cheese Studio. Uh, and you might say to yourself, "Wow, that's pretty uh, pretty awesome." But you know, I I really need that Bluetooth speaker for my phone when I want to use it. Well, here's the next thing you want to buy. Look what they make. These this cost me twelve ninety five. It was on Amazon Prime. Um, you know, I'm not advertising Amazon Prime because they're putting everybody out of business and, and crushing communities. And, you know, they delivered this. A truck actually drove to my house. A guy walked up the steps and delivered this, this, this. You buy something for $2. A guy drives a truck to your house, walks up your steps, delivers your $2 toothbrush. You know what I mean? Mm, that's not good. Go to the store, you lazy bastards. <laughs> Let me bleep that out. Uh, <laughs> So what this is is a Bluetooth adapter for an iPod dock, and it works great on the Bose. Uh, this is a, a Smoff or a Moff. I have no idea where this is made. Probably a Rundi Burundi and by some slave children's sweatshop somewhere, but who knows. But it works great. It works great. It had good reviews. And uh, what it is is it turns this into a Bluetooth. That's a Bluetooth adapter. Wow, in the hell. So there's a power on, Bluetooth's on. I'm not going to demonstrate because then it acts like a Bluetooth speaker. Can you come with Bluetooth? And, but it, it works. It works great. Sounds great. Uh, but what's also nice is it has an audio jack on the top. An audio jack on the top. So you can plug your CD player, your, you know, your, I always have to look at this. I can't remember. Your, your 3350 CD player. And you can listen to, you know, you can listen to all your classic tunes from your portable, your iPod, you know, your Bluetooth. You can plug us into your TV and use it as a home theater system. This thing here kind of updates everything. So I'm gonna be like Steve Jobs, one more thing. iPod, updated to solid state. <laughs> Bose stereo system, updated to Bluetooth. <laughs> so you can use these things, you know? 
just because they're old, you're still great. Uh, yeah, I got an old G4 Mac here. This is an old 800, I don't know, I think it's 800 megahertz G4. You know where I found this? The garbage. Somebody threw this in the garbage. Okay, maybe it belongs to the garbage. <laughs> but, I mean, look at this. You know, I couldn't see this kind of throw, get being thrown away. You know, it's just a really nice, bright and shiny computer. Um, I might screw with that and make a video with it. And, you know, you can still get the old operating systems for these. OS. This is going to be like OS X. You know, one of the earlier versions of OS X. You can still get the game, you know, just goofy stuff with this if you want. Uh, but I think I'm going to put it on display over here. It's just such a nice computer to look at. Um, you know, that was in the garbage. So I'm not touting Apple products there. I'm just saying that, you know, people throw away a lot of stuff. And, you know, maybe they have their uses. Um, I could probably run some games on this, surf the basic internet on, on, a, on a G4. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> it's something neat. People throw this stuff away. And uh, <sighs> this iPod, man. I'd say 10 solid years of like freaking in my entire music collection. So I'm glad to have it back. I'm glad everything's working. And uh, this is just really, you know, really good. I wanted to share this stuff with you. I hope you like this video. And I hope you're as frustrated as I am with Bluetooth and modern technology. <laughs> I guess, you know, you hit a certain age. Um, it, uh, I heard something the other day like uh, complaining about, you know, you're list complaining that today's music is not as good as the 60s. You used to hear that from your parents. 60s music was so much greater. That's the same as thing as telling your, you know, children today, oh, that's not as good as the music I had in the 80s. It's the same amount of time, you know. That's pretty crazy. That's a little bit of Pink Floyd time, right? <laughs> so, um, you know, what are the moments that make up your doll day? This made me smile. I'm listening to my iPod again. I don't care. No, just chilling. So just some cool uh, points, you know, maybe you didn't think of. Some cool stuff to look into if you have an old iPod. Prices have come down. You know, when, when this Bose stereo system came out, I couldn't afford it. Uh, but now I can, I guess. It's old. Nobody wants it. <laughs> so now I can afford it. So, eh, relive your childhood. Have fun, folks. Please subscribe. I'm trying to get, you know, thousands of subscribers at some point. Um, and, and the more subscribers I get, the more comments I get, the more I'll make videos, the more I'll maybe crack some jokes. You know, maybe because I've got some good things on the way. Maybe I'll do something with this G4. Let me know if you want me to do something with this G4. We'll fix it on up. <laughs> so, uh, you know, have a great day and um, have fun listening to your music. And did I mention to use a standard headphone jack? Yeah!